I would like to try to make a quick video. But if you follow me, as I've said before, sometimes I find it difficult. But you see the title of this video. Not sure how long this will go. Could be five, ten minutes. I don't know. But I want to talk about giving a warning to all preppers out there. It's not that I'm against people prepping and being prepared. I had made a video once before a long time ago about how I feel Joseph was a prepper. You know, the word prepping didn't exist back then in that fashion, but he was prepared. And I always felt if you follow Christ and you're in the Bible, you will be prepared for a lot of things. And some think they're prepared and they're not even close. But my problem with all these videos that are on YouTube and Rumble and so forth, they have a list. They know who you are. Now some will say, that's okay, I'm going to fight to the death. Why? Why would you do that? Why, why would you knowingly and willfully put yourself in a position? Now, defending yourself is a whole different ballgame. Fighting for your family or fighting for your uh, uh, property, so to speak. Okay. But why would you intentionally put yourself out there? I'm not understanding that. You claim that you're going to help people be prepared. And I, I think that's great too. But I think to myself, which is not the perfect grammar right there, why would you not look at your immediate area? Your immediate surroundings, your community, those around you. I get it. You're like, well, if I help them, they're going to know where I live and they can come. The government knows where you live. They're going to come. So what does it matter? Rated by the government or rated by the people? So why not help your community, those around you, or spread the word to certain people to help them? It's, it's kind of the same way as we, you know, as Christians, we're out there on these videos and we're trying to preach the gospel and bring the word of God to people, which is beautiful. And I'll be on the list for that. But also, why would you not try to hand out Bibles or hand out tracts or talk to somebody at work or someone in your travels? Drop these little seeds, teaching them how to use a Mylar bag, which Mylar bag? how to put it in a food storage bucket, how many oxy absorbers, ball jars, are they good, what size, all those things are incredibly important, but why would you not do it in your local community, which you should do more often than making the videos. My concern here is all those people who are prepping and preparing, well, people who have you on a list, they're prepping and they're preparing for you to go after you. There was an interesting article by the World Economic Forum. Most people probably have already seen it. Um, they talked about the most dangerous people out there. Um, this is that uh, article where it talks about in the future you'll have nothing and you'll be happy. That everything's provided you by the government, but the people that they're concerned about are those people out there in the woods and the mountains who are still living in the 1800s and living off the land are dangerous. The government wants to destroy those people. So I think if you're putting these videos out, I think you basically put a bullseye on you. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be prepping. I'm not saying you should be preparing. But maybe you shouldn't be letting the cat out of the bag. And I guess in a small way, I'm now giving myself up as a someone who's like, oh, this guy must be prepping also. I'm preparing my family. I'm preparing for what I believe I need to prepare for. Some people think they got to prepare for doomsday for the next 50 years, some 60 years. Some are preparing under the sun. Some are preparing for tomorrow. I personally don't think I'm going to be here in 30 years. I think it's going to be a lot less than that. A lot less. But while you're preparing, especially the Christians, I know there's a lot of secular people who make the videos. I don't see a lot of Christians who make them, except for there's some Christians who, who those who call themselves Christians and uh, doing gardening and canning and all that kind of stuff, and that's wonderful. 
But the diehard preppers, the guys who are doing the bunkers and everything like that, you don't think the government already knows? They know where you are. You're not hiding from them. They have you. When you bought that item on your credit card, when you took out that loan from the bank, they already know. It's not that they'll finally find you. They already know where you are. It's just a matter of time. So, I'm just saying to all the preppers out there, in the... I'm not sure the right words I'm looking for. While you're trying to help people, you're a target. And once you're a target, the followers of you are a target. They go after all those people and eliminate them while they can. You see what's happening here? So if you want to prep, that's an awesome thing. And prepare. Be careful of how you're putting that information out there. And they go, I'm going to fight to the death. I don't understand that. Why are you forcefully making yourself a martyr? Trying to make yourself a martyr ain't getting you into heaven. Hate to break it to you. Martyrs are martyrs because they chose to stand for something, not because they wanted to die. It was just something they had to do for God. And if you're not standing up for God, what was it all for? I've spoken before, when you... When you stand for the same things as a secular stands for, what makes you any different? You're going to hell just like them. If it's not for God, everything you're doing, this freedom that you're you're so uh, bent on uh, 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 protecting, not so much. That freedom is is leaving. I'm sorry, but uh, your eyes should be focused on God, not the world. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Have a great night.